Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016-2017 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're starting with number one on the new General Curriculum Math Subtest. This is a great problem out there, team. It's uh, very appropriate for elementary school teachers and middle school teachers taking, taking teacher certification exams. You'll notice the problem has scientific notation. It has uh, values raised to exponents and negative exponents. So I'll start by reading over this scenario, this problem, and I want you just to visualize what's going on in the problem, okay? That'll make it a lot easier to uh, work through the math. Let's start with number one. It says, a researcher estimated there were 8 billion grains of sand per cubic meter on one particular beach. If the mass of one of these grains of sand is approximately 3.5 times 10 to the negative 7 grams, what is the approximate mass of one cubic meter of sand on this particular beach? Read that to yourself. It's lots of important information, like, like what we're looking for. We're trying to find the mass of one cubic meter of sand. Right? That's, that's like a, 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 a cube that has sides that are one meter by one meter by one meter. Right? And we're trying to find the, the mass of one cubic uh, meter of sand and we're told information like we're, we're told some valuable information in the first line one cubic meter has eight billion grains of sand so in this in this this cubic meter there's eight billion grains of sand so that's an eight plus nine zeros and then we're also told that hey each one of those grains of sand has a mass of 3.5 times 10 to the negative 7th. So this is the mass of one of those grains, so sand, and this is all the grains of sand that are in that box. And we want to find the total mass of one cubic uh, meter of sand. Doesn't it make sense that we take the 8 billion and multiply it by the 3.5 times 10 to the negative 7th? Well, that's right. That's, this is the gist, and this is what we're going to do. Lots and lots of ways to go about solving this problem. I'm going to do it in three steps. Step one, I'm going to rewrite that number sentence to get to the total mass of one cubic uh, meter of sand. It's going to involve me taking 8 billion, multiplying it by 3.5 times 10 to the negative 7. Step two, I'm going to take, take each one of these terms and express it as a fraction. The 8 billion can be expressed as 8 billion over 1. The 3.5 would be 3.5 over 1. And the 10 to the negative 7th, well, let's take a moment and pause. Let's think about the 10 to the negative 7th. Maybe you're not that familiar with negative exponents. Negative exponents, they look very intimidating, but they're really not. Negative exponents can be turned into fractions very easy. Let me start with a, a few basic ones, and then we'll do 10 to the negative 7th. Like, for example, 10 to the negative 1st. That's equivalent or equal to 1 over 10 to the first. 10 to the negative second. It's the same as 1 over 10 positive second. Now let's do the 10 to the a negative 7th. 10 to the negative 7th. Does anyone see the pattern? I take this value here and I rewrite it as a fraction with one numerator and 10 to the positive 7th in the denominator. And that's all you do, team. If you want to turn, you want to get rid of the negative exponent, you rewrite this as a fraction. Well, watch how this helps make this problem much easier. This becomes three fractions being multiplied together. 8 billion times 3.5 times 1 over 10 to the 7th. And these are all 1s and 1s here. When you're multiplying out fractions, you multiply the numerators times the numerators and the denominators times the denominators. On the top, I would have 8 billion times the 3.5. Now, the 10 to the 7th can be written as a 1 and 7 zeros. We actually now have some math that you probably have seen before, and everyone can solve this. I can cross out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros here. I'm not really crossing out zeros. I'm really dividing by factors of 10 seven times. So let's, let's do the same thing to the top. Uh, cross out seven zeros or divide by a factor of ten seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The denominator becomes a one. 
the top becomes 800 times 3.5. We've just taken this problem and boiled it down to 800 times 3.5 gets the mass of one cubic meter of sand. All right, 800 times 3.5. 800 times 3.5. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 8 is 40. Carry the 0. 3 times uh, 0 is 0. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 8 is 24. Add these values up. 0, 0, 0, 8, 2. Now I have a decimal here, and I've got to move the decimal back over here. And this boils down to 2,800. 2,800 grams per cubic meter of sand. Now the answer has to be expressed in scientific notation form. So it means I'm going to have to drop my decimal here and move it over one, two, three spaces and rewrite this as 2.8 times 10 to the third power because we moved over three spaces. And we look back at the answer choices here. We have 2.8 times 10 to the third. Well, guess what? That's D. D is equal to 2,800 grams. Now, I told you I was going to do this uh, in two ways. One is this mathy way. And so let's do it another way that would also get us to the answer. After reading the problem, you're told that you're dealing with one cubic meter of uh, sand. I'm going to visualize that. It's very important to visualize it and kind of get a, and use common sense here to think through this problem. So this cubic meter, it's got sides that are roughly three feet by three feet. It, it's really big is what I'm trying to say. Like a person is like five, six feet. So this is one of those huge cubes that you might see at like a, like a Staples or something. This is just a really big box. And if that was filled with sand, it would be have an extraordinarily high mass. So now we're going to look at the options and say which ones of these has, has a very high mass. And obviously ones with very low masses don't, that don't weigh a lot are going to be crossed out. Let's start with this one. 10 to the 0 power or anything to the 0 power is automatically 1. So any power raised, any number raised to the 0 is 1. So 2.8 times 1 is 2.8 grams. That's about a tablespoon of sugar. There's no way this box filled with sand is, you know, a tablespoon of sugar. Cross it out. How about this one? 2.8 times 10 to the first, which is 10. 2.8 times 10 is 28 grams. There's no way again that that is going to be equivalent to the mass of a gigantic box filled with sand. Cross that off. C and D, we'll do these at the same time. 10 to the second is 100. 10 to the third is 1,000. 2.8 times 100 is 280 grams. 2.8 times 1,000 is 2,800. C is still way off. And D is the only one that even comes close to possibly being the mass of this uh, cube filled with sand. In reality, 2,800 grams is equal to about six or seven pounds. So the person who made this, you know, totally blew their number. But this strategy, I think, still holds. We could use basic common sense and be like, you know what? A box full of sand this size, there's no way it could be A, B, or C. It has to be D. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope you liked this video. Have a great day. Stay tuned for more. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, Go Academy is holding a whole new round of workshops in math, science, English, and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL, and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, Florida, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, and a couple other states. Check out our workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.